Hi everybody, after spending a lovely time in the West Country, we're back in action cooking some wonderful dishes. Tonight I'm going to be making cottage pie. Well, what's the difference between cottage pie and shepherd's pie? It's all in the meat really. Cottage pie, I'm going to be using some beautiful class A grade beef mince. In the shepherd's pie you'd normally use lamb. So let's get started. Uh, chop up some onions. A little bit of sliced white onion as well. What I'm going to do is just put a little bit of olive oil in there. I'm also crying. We take the garlic and then we just smack it like that and then that gets the skin off very easily. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the skin's coming off now. Skin's coming off, good. That's good. Uh, touch of salt in there. <laughs> huh? There we go. Can I cut one up? That's all already done, brother. Just like that. So you cook those until they're nice and soft. Soft? We have over here some frozen chopped tomatoes. Okay, which uh, we've cooked earlier. These are just frozen, and you can cook these. You can cook the tomatoes with stock, or you can simply take tin tomatoes, ragu tin of tin of ragu tomatoes, good as well. So that will melt with the onion. I take my beef and I just put my beef into the tomatoes and the onions. Cook off in the sauce. I don't fry off the meat because I want to retain the, the, the tenderness of the meat and I'm just putting my meat in with the tomato sauce. I'm going to add a stock cube to that. Okay. One lovely stock cube to that. Beef stock. I'm Ooh. adding some tomato puree. Right? Yeah, stock. That's about Two tablespoons of tomato puree to about 500 grams of beef. So we're going to put a little bit of ketchup in there as well. A tablespoon of ketchup. Give it a good stir. Okay. And then I will let that cook for about 20 minutes. And you want that on a nice simmer, don't you? Okay, so you might find that your, your meat might be a little bit wet and there might be quite a lot of juice. Now what you might want to do is you might want to thicken that up with a bit of arrowroot. So what I do, or some corn flour, I just take some of the, the juice and I just add it to about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of corn flour and I mix it in, just like that. I add it back to my sauce for my beef that I'm cooking and you will see this will thicken up nicely. Strain the potatoes. Let them steam off. A nice tablespoon of butter, and I'll add the butter to the potatoes. Take a little bit of milk. Pour some milk in there. Mashing the potatoes up. Now, the actual little trick to a nice golden mash is actually to add an egg into your mashed potato. Now, you've got to be quite quick when you work with this because you don't want the egg cooking in the hot potato. So, I'm just going to crack the egg onto the potato and it's already started to cook and we want to work it in very quickly so then you have when you bake it it will go nice and brown now it's time to make our delicious cottage pie we don't like the mince to be too hard and dry because it will cook in its juices normally when mommy makes it it's a bit drier yeah but we don't like it dry do we we want to put Potato, nice chunks of our potato on top of the mince. Now press it down so the potato is all on top of that meat, yeah? That's it, lovely. Okay, so we've done this, now we're going to put it in the oven for about half an hour until it's nice and golden and brown. Now it's time to take out this delicious cottage pie. Delicious golden look brown. Look at that delicious golden brown. Wow. Wow, look at that. Let's 
boy then. Oh. Delicious. Easy and delicious cottage pie. Mm. That is amazing. That is so yummy. Mm. Happy cooking, everybody.